Daddy's dungeon. Daddy what? What the fuck is Daddy's dungeon? Daddy's dungeon. Daddy's fucking dungeon. Daddy, 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 Daddy chill. What the hell is even that? <laughs> Wreck, it's rolling. We're live. We're live. We're live in the neighborhood. In the neighborhood. In a very nice neighborhood. It's pretty nice. Pretty nice neighborhood. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Pretty nice. I did like it. The bed in mouth. I liked it. It was fucking great. Because people waving at you. People seem nice. If they seem they, they're like, I damn, I want to be. I want to have a conversation with this guy. This gorgeous man. What about that made him seem like that? I don't know. Just white, I guess. I don't know. Just Is white? Is that a white people thing? Just like, white? Like the country whites, they're just like, hey, hey, brother. Oh, okay. Hey, brother. Okay. But to you, did they seem pretty, like, approachable like that? Not everybody. Did that, se did that seem pretty inviting to you? Um, like, yeah. when they did that? The lady at Waffle House, she was cool because she said, I appreciate you. That was cool. Yeah. But it's very approachable. That's why I didn't ask her for any recommendations of food. I was like, hey, man. Okay. Hey, Rex. Okay. No, she was on a mission. I had to let that lady live. You know, you know them fucking waitresses and servers at Waffle House. They busting their ass. She was busting ass for real. You know what I noticed at Waffle House? By the way, Waffle House was dank. I loved it. I loved it. By the it. way, it was great. Um, but they had, <laughs> in case of theft, in case of a robbery, in case of a fight, they had these big old banners and stuff. They weren't like, because typically in a restaurant, they'd be safety health codes and all this shit, right? Oh, yeah. And there, it's in case of a fucking fight, I a robbery, you, in the case of Daniel. an incident. My homie Daniel was like, hey, bro, watch out for chairs, dog. Or I was like, yes, sir, understood. <laughs> watch out for chairs, dog. <laughs> understood the job. Where are we right now? We're in fucking, how did he say it? Louisville. 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 It sounded like you said Louisville. We're in Louisville. Louisville? Louisville. We're in Kentucky. We're in freaking Kentucky. We're in Louisville, Kentucky. We're here. We came. We got Zaxby's. F we are here. Zaxby's. For uh, LDB 2024, baby. LDB 2024, baby. You already know the deal. How do you feel about that? We drove 2,068 miles to get here. How do you feel about that? How does that make you feel? Amazing. How does that make you feel? Go in depth on it. Don't just give me that bland ass word. Uh, this is the most proud moment of my life. Really? No, dude. Really? Are you stupid? Really? <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> hey, man. No. You never know. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's fucking dope. It's fucking to be here. Uh, it started off with just like, hey, bro, this would be sick to go to. And then it turned into like, yo, bro. <laughs> this will be sick to go to and we're like hey let's make it happen and by the way that gas thing was fire we're like hey i'm almost we spent on gas we looked it up and we both had spent exactly the same amount exactly minus and change like literally like 20 cents off exactly the same amount that's badass that was badass it's like next we, it's like we had everything in order it's like we were yeah. meant to be here and i think we spent the last gas money that we talked to get here, like by like twenty bucks or something. I don't even remember exactly the we both that agreed, we had. We both agreed it was gonna be two fifty each for gas for both ways. Okay, okay, okay. And when we looked uh, before the last one I bought at Sam's Club, you had one hundred twelve sixty nine, and I had one twelve forty nine. Mm -hmm. So we're off by twenty cents. And I was like, damn, that's pretty fucking badass. So then I spent another twenty six dollars. That's exactly two fifty. Do you realize that? That's exactly 250. You know what I do realize? That the drive wasn't that bad. It wasn't. And honestly, like those like two or three hour power that you would take, they're fired. It was not that bad at all. I'm glad you let me nap. But or you gotta wake me up if you need me on the on the way back. Oh yeah, dude, I was not I, there was not one moment where I struggled at all. Okay. I never struggled driving. There was one moment at four o'clock in the morning and I was like, You're you were you good thing you were awake though. I was like, You're like, you good? No. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. There. I didn't. I never struggled driving, dude. I was chilling the whole time. See, but that that was one of my get backs that we're talking about. Remember we were talking about that in the car? You know, like, like that. That. that it gave me one of those. It was my first one. So I, I did pretty good. I did. 
I tried pushing as long as I could. Was that your only one? That was my only one. Okay. Because, uh... That's a get back, you call it? Yeah. Why do you call it that? I call it like a restart. Because it's not like me fully falling asleep. It's like my body like really trying to stay awake. It's like, also, don't fall asleep, brother. So that's your sign, like, okay. Okay, I'm, I'm tired. Either, I'm either whip my cock out or pull over. <laughs> I started, like, pinching myself. I was like, <laughs> no. I've done that before. I should have slapped myself on the way home from work or something. I'm tired as fuck. Do you ever wonder how I stayed up so, so good? How? How we stayed up so good? How I stayed up so well on the drive. Were you watching porn again? Whoa, 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 no. <laughs> I was just listening to my favorite music. I didn't boing, I didn't butt top the wing. I was listening to my favorite music too. Yeah, dude. And it, I was good for a good like six hours. And then I was like, okay, I've gone through a shit ton of music. I drove for 10 hours, so I did pretty good for being that late. I think. Totally, totally. Okay, solid. It's great. I made up for it in the end. I made up for it in the end. I let you drive the last like hour and a half. So I was like, you know what? I think I made up for it. But. That was my favorite music, and I was like, you know what, dude? I'm gonna put on some YouTube. I put on some Hell Diver videos, and then I got to like one and a half videos, lost service, and I was like, dude, come on, this this would be my luck right now. I was, I was really getting into it, too. I was just about to look at some updates, and someone's like having Armageddon on something. Yeah, no, it's above us. Right when we started recording? It's above us. That's fucking bullshit. <laughs> hey, man, we're the outsiders here. It smells like cigarettes in here. That's true, it does. It does. It says no smoking in this place, and it smells like... We almost let them to join ourselves. We didn't. <laughs> we don't do this shit here. That's true. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. Wait, brother. I know you said you want to do a bracket and all this stuff. We Hell no, do we didn't do it next year. We didn't do it. I'm not saying we're doing it now, but who are the top top three bands you want to see? Top three bands I want to see? Uh-huh. Well, Balmore is number one. Top. You want from top to bottom? All I know, Balmora is number one. Okay. That is it. Balmora is number one. And, and I mean, the other ones, I don't really have a specific order for them. But Hold My Own is another that I'm really excited to see. Okay. And I would probably say Never Ending Game. That's it. That's it. That's the top three. Top three. All right. Mine. X Open X. Oh. Okay. Who am I most excited to see? I want to say Mind Force. Really? Just because, like, you know, that was, like, the first band. That oh, yeah, into. yeah, yeah. Like, when I first got into hardcore, that was, like, the first you, band. You dove head first. Head first. And right into them. Right into them. Right in their asshole. So, just because that'd be dope to see, because they don't really come out here, you know? Do they even play shows that much? Not really. I know they're all school teachers out there. Yeah, no, not. They don't really they don't really come out here too much, but I know they really come out here just for big fests and stuff like that. They don't tour. They don't really tour Mind like that. Force, X Weapon X. Big boy, I love me some big boy. Oh he likes heck it. yeah! It's man. such a good show, dude. Yeah, it is gonna be awesome. He's such a likable front guy. Yeah, who wouldn't like him? Yeah. Pieces of shit. Haters. Haters. Oh, do like big boy? Who says that? <laughs> no, but yeah, I I like seeing big boy. I wanted to see them like what two weeks ago. Could make it happen. They're awesome. They're fucking awesome. How was it seeing them? Did you know? No, nope. oh, no, we didn't. Didn't go. But my wife. Does it feel like you're in Kentuckers? Oh yeah. Really? Yeah. It's like a completely different earth. It's everything's different here. Yeah. The lights are different. Way too long, by the way. Got to finish that shit. Yeah, that's right. First thing I'm doing is Kentucky Mirror fixing the goddamn lights. <laughs> fixing that shit. No, but the weird ass freeway numbers 1755, 57. For real, for real. What the? Four where's numbers? The, where's the 10 at, yo? Give me the 10. Yeah, where's the 10? Where's the 210 at? It was cool though because it was literally like go home, go up to 15, get on the 40, and just stay 40 for like 1100 miles. Forever. And then, okay. All right. Stay on the 64 for 500 miles. Doesn't get better. It was such an easy drive. So easy. You know what, though? I, it didn't really hit me as far as how much of a drive it was uh-huh. until I had mentioned it down the road. Like, whoa, bro, it's a long drive. I remember we had drove until the night, and you had drove for 12 hours straight. And I was like, it's my turn, brother. And I remember, I was like, dude, I feel like I'm driving forever. And I looked, it's been an hour. And I was like, holy fuck. Fuck, bro. <laughs> I was like, it's only been an hour. I feel like I've been on the goddamn road forever. Night driving is way better than day driving. Why do you say that? So much less traffic. You think so? Yeah. But see, for me personally, I like the day driving. I feel like I would have trouble doing the night driving. See, and like I told you, I am great with staying up until 2 in the morning. But once that 2 in the morning hits, I'm done at all. 
So like we have to make we have to kind of even out the driving that way. Okay. Okay. Like you drive in the morning, I get to nap in those in a few hour window to get some re-energized, and then I will drive again at night. I would definitely do it again. I won't mind it. We'll we'll figure it out for sure, Zs. We leave your seven. You start driving again at seven, and then I'll drive from there as long as I can, literally as long as I can. Yeah, totally. Okay, let's see. <laughs> totally, totally. But I told you that people just look different here than out in California. I don't see what you're saying. They just look like ordinary people to me. Like you know, like when the people I'm just saying at your at your work, they said you'll stand out like a sore thumb. I could totally see it. Every, don't you just everyone his eyes look at us like, damn, these these people are not from here. No, not Where really. Where they from, and then they follow us. Or like, you're not from this town, boy. Oh, you feel that, huh? You're not from the town, boy. You feel that? I felt that from one person, yes. From who exactly? We were in the mall. <laughs> it was in the shoe store, and this guy kept like circling me. Really? This motherfucker like kept circling you, huh? Has me up, boy. You might pull out my glove, mallet, boy. I might pull out my glove, mallet. <laughs> Don't you call it? My glove, mallet. It's a glove, mallet. Oh, that makes so much sense why it's a Mizuno. It's a glove mallet. Yeah, it's a breaking it's, it's a breaking out, gloves. Yeah. That's so much better it's than breaking baseball, baseball gloves. Have you ever have you ever broken a baseball glove? I've never even I don't use baseball this gloves. My dad taught me. I only catch my hands. My dad taught me. Put a baseball in there. Put a baseball. Get some good glove oil. Rub it rub it good. Good massage. Right? And you stuff it on your bed. And you fucking sleep on it for three days, and it's fucking working in perfect. It's, it, it works. Really? It works. You just flip it over the next day, flip it back over, and it just works. Wow. Good. That's it. That's it. Damn. I'm playing baseball right now. Just go outside and play catch. That's so fun. That would be pretty cool. Should we you talk to him? When was the last time we did that? At the Mets game, probably. Shout out Upland Mets. Oh, yeah? Shout out Upland Mets. Y'all, y'all really put it on for Upland. But it doesn't really, I mean, I get, it does feel like it's Tucker's because of, of how different it is, but I don't really, I don't see that, how we stand out. I don't think we do, exactly. I don't, I don't understand. They look like ordinary that, people to me. that guy, like the, he was our age, and then there was a girl with him, I assume that's a girlfriend, did you see them at, at Waffle House? No. They were like sitting behind us. Oh, you know what, yes, I believe so on the way out. He was dressed. He had some like he was, he was short dr- boots and he had like a yeah yeah highlighter puffer jacket like that oh jacket. no see yeah that seemed like he was like on his fucking lunch you think yeah it seemed like he was on his lunch his girlfriend just decided not to talk at all or what every time I looked over there she was on her phone not talking and he was just sitting there like this hey maybe they mad bro don't want you going to Waffle House you gonna call the fight throw the chair or something hell yeah because that's the that's the arena they step into the arena. They're getting their fight going. We went to the that uh, what was it called Adams. Adams. Uh, Adams Ordinance. Ordinance. Yeah, dude. Stolen Valor. We're, we're, <laughs> we were not committing I'm gonna get a fucking Valor. private hut patch right here. <laughs> 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 but uh, there was two guys in there, like younger guys, those two white guys, and I was looking. I was like, you think they're gonna go to LDB tomorrow? Like, should I ask? But hey, you guys go to LDB, bro. But don't you think, because the way they were dressed, it didn't really, um, didn't really seem like they, they were into that type of stuff. Don't you think they would be wearing some type of at least merch, merch of any type of. What band? if they don't have that much merch? They're younger. No, I know, I know, I know. Do you wear merch every time you go out? I guarantee you do. Actually, yeah, I do. I do too. <laughs> so that's just me personally, or I wear some type of music. I got the Turnstile Converse coming in soon, so yeah. But that's just me. I didn't get them one time. I was sold out instantly. So you bought them for two hundred percent resale price. Fuck that. Two hundred percent. What's game plan tomorrow? Game plan tomorrow. Yes, sir. Game plan tomorrow. I'll wake up early as fuck. Get some brekkie. Who knows what? We'll decide then. And um, be there by ten. At Triple Crown Pavilion by 10. Do you think you're a little earlier? You think so? 9.30? I think you're, I think you're stretching a little too much, okay. dude. We got there by 10. 10. Do you think there's ins and outs? Totally. I think there'll, there'll be ins and outs. Yeah, so like go in and just buy a gang of merch, walk out, stuff it in the car, and come back. Yeah. Go what we're really there for. Go merch. Buy all the merch and then leave. We're merch wars. We'll go. We'll drive fucking 36 hours. For some merch. For merch and drive 36 hours. That's it. That's it. We're not even going to see the bands, nothing. My, even my dad said that we got here fast. Just like, you guys got here quick. 31 hours we took it. I thought we did, I thought we did it pretty quick. 31 hours. 
That's seems, pretty goddamn good. Seems like a long, well, it's the longest I've ever done in my life. Oh, longest ever. Yeah, and I swear to God, my fucking, I was getting small bass for show. Really, were you? Oh, it's because um, you were sitting on that hot ass fucking tinfoil side. On the, on the Arizona side. Yeah, oh yeah, boy, you were sitting I should have on... taken my pants off. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing. I was just, I'm keeping these pants on. They smell like shit. How about your pants? Uh, do they actually smell like shit? Nah. I, my, I, I was a little swampy though, for sure. I need to get in that shower. Thank God. I love that shower. Wait, you know what? Yeah. We didn't say anything about getting bamboozled. We got bamboozled. Holy fuck. With the vehicle. We got bamboozled. We still need to call them. We still need to call them. And we need to complain like, hey, this should have been in big writing when we got the car, you piece of shit. Cheapo air motherfucker. You canceled our flight for one. Number two, canceled my rental car. Bitch ass. Well, they didn't cancel it. We can't just left it up in thin air. Yeah. All right. So we get to the, we wake up early as fuck. We're the first people there to the rental car place. BTW, you gotta change your scheduled hours on Yelp. Oh yeah, you guys are open at like two in the morning. I would have been there at two in the morning. Oh fuck yeah. So we walk in and he's like, "Oh, can I see a credit card?" And I hand him my debit card. So I'm trying to pull a fast one. Here he's like, go. "Oh no, I need a credit card on file." And I was like, oh, "Okay." I didn't think I was getting a charge shit. I was like, oh, "I'm just gonna put a credit card on file just in case." And I was like, "We're bringing the car back. He can't charge me. Fuck him." And he goes, oh, you're not 25? I have to charge $20 a day. So that's $120 for me under 25. And I was like, okay. And I instantly go on my phone, transfer money over there. Get the kid down. <laughs> and then he goes, oh, and then we're going to do a $500 security deposit. And I was like, excuse me? He was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. First of all. Motherfucker, that's all money I got. That's a surprise <laughs> to me, brother. Yeah. That's the fucking money. That's the only money I got for the trip. <laughs> I broke as hell down, brother, too. So I was like, can I pay on the debit card? Oh, it has to be on the credit card or Kirk will get mad at me. And I was like, no offense. Like, you look know, like you touch kids. It's, yeah. Brother, ew. Brother, ew. It's fucking Dan Schneider and kids for sure. Brother, ew. Dude, did he, he looked like he was a kid toucher for sure. We should probably call the cops on them. That's... It's That's fu- how we can get revenge. It's fucked up. We can get revenge that way. Fucked this is not fucked up. We shouldn't be like that. We shouldn't be like that. He wouldn't even put my debit card on file. He was following the rules. He was following the rules. He was just doing his job. What do you think about people just doing their job? He did his job just fine. What do you think about that? He didn't get in trouble. Yeah. I can't get mad at him, I guess. What do you think I about still that? am mad at him, even though he did his job. He followed the rules. What can I do? For example, in a situation like that, Bitch. in a situation like that, if you were working at a friend desk, would you have let it slide? Yeah. Like, hey, what's the debit card? Think you would have caught some points? Fuck yeah. I'm like, hey, dude. Hey, bitch. You think you just you got would... $500 in your bank account, boy? Fuck, boy, I did that. Give me a raise. <laughs> Give me a commissions check. I did that. He was going to walk out of your no car. Now, guess what? They got no car. Yeah. No car. No car. <laughs> no money. Well, they had the car. <laughs> they got no fucking money. Would you rob him, too? <laughs> Go get fired real quick. Give me all your money, bitch. <laughs> Little bitch, you mean for fuck ass? We tried giving Jose's card, and they're like, "Oh, well, his name's on the on the thing, so I can't give it to him." I was like, "Can we add him?" Oh, you just got to get a whole new card, and it's me nine hundred dollars. I was like, "Fuck oh, my dick!" Fuck. There goes my money. <laughs> like my dick. And there's no trip. Then we walk outside, and Jose, you can just explain what happened here. We walk outside, and I'm just going about my day. My new it's early in the morning. Listen. We just got denied our car. I'm a little bugged myself, right? But. I mean, now it's still fine. It's still fine. This black gentleman in an orange jumpsuit. It wasn't a jumpsuit, actually, but he was wearing orange, wasn't he? Yeah, it was a sweater. He was wearing orange. The windows don't even roll up. Windows all the way down. He starts getting into his car. And he starts asking me if I like his music, R&B. I think he was yeah. making, he made music, he right? Said, he said he was selling CDs. He was selling CDs. R&B and positive music. R&B and positive music. Did he say um, motivational? Motivational. Motivational, okay. I was like, ah, no thanks, man. I'm all right. I'm not really into that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Although, you know, motivation, I dig it. r and not so much, you know, but the motivational positivity, I dig it, right? Mm-hmm. And I was like, no, no thanks, man. I don't really dig it too much. And he just gets in his car. I start getting in the car myself, doing my thing. Mm-hmm. And he, I see him kind of like put his head out of the window a little bit. He says something yeah. as I'm closing the door. Uh-huh. And I'm like, what? 
what this motherfucker saying? But you're already turning on the car, so I'm like, oh, let me get this window down. Yeah, so you should roll the window off. This guy was trying to, he was talking shit or something. Yeah, he was, he was saying something. He was talking shit. That's why I was like, just get the fuck out of here. Uh, I was out. ready. Yeah, I, I know you're ready. You're ready to get out of the fucking car. Bitch ass motherfucker, dude. Like, I, I was polite to you. First of all, when I got denied. Hold on, that motherfucker didn't know we got the fucking mallet in the car. My vehicle. You don't know I got my glove mallet. You don't know I got my glove mallet. Strap, always strap my glove mallet. <laughs> that shit would fucking curdle. You know, I'd have broken his knee. I'd have broken his kneecaps. You would have gone to jail. I would have gone to jail probably. Hey, but street fight, you hit them with an oblique kick. Their knees done. You know what I'm they're saying? They're not expecting. A, they're not expecting a weak kick. They're not. No. Hit them with the John Jones. But but what I'm saying is, why you gotta be? Why you gotta be nasty like shit. that? Yeah. When when. You're like, oh no, they stand. I'm good. When That's I it. when I let you down softly, you know what I'm saying? You I could have been. I don't like your fucking shitty music, bitch. Hey motherfucker, you're gonna fail as a musician. I could have told him that. And that's not true. You're gonna be nothing. That's not true, bro. I could have told him that. Uh, who's that guy in been outside? Bossy Ira. Remember I met that? Or you think we talked about the pot? He had, he had DM, he had DM me. This guy outside the Super Walmart on Mountain in like Ontario, Oakland area. <coughs> oh, okay, yeah. By the movies. He goes, I hear about Is it doing my city? It's five bucks. I was like, that's your work. Damn me too. Just that I felt like being nice. I was, I'm going to support him. I listened to those. I know music's not bad. I looked at him. He has like a few thousand followers. He's got like 200K now. Followers. Okay, hell and yeah. He made it. Selling CDs out of his car. For real. I'm not saying that he's but gonna. He was nice. I'm not saying that he's gonna fail. Right? No, he's gonna fail because he's a piece of shit. No, no, no. What I am saying is, I could have been that way to him. I uh -huh. could have been like, Ah, bro, you're a fucking bum. You're gonna fail. Uh huh. I could have been like that. You but it said, I, I was just like, No, thank you. But that's not my thing. Yeah. You know. So and then he's over here coming at me sideways and shit. You're ready to get out of the car. You started like, What? What'd you say? And I was like, Nope. Yeah. I'm I, out of here. I wanted. To, I wanted to hear what this guy had to say. You know. If I had to Should get... Should we go back there and fight him? If I, still there? Yeah, I'm going to drive an hour and so, a day and six hours to find out what he was going to say. <laughs> but if I if I do engage in physical fucking contact, I would have. But I literally just wanted to know what he, want, what he wanted to say. I wanted to hear it. See what it was. So then I can make my next move. Assess the, assess, assess the situation. I wanted to assess the situation. That's kind of hard to say. Say that five times fast. Assess the situation. 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 <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> but say, for example, he's like, maybe he was saying, hey, man, I don't really, why don't you like that type of music? He could have, but he looked more angry because he said something, got in his car, and he said something again, and then he turned around and said something. Yeah. Like a little bitch. Bitch ass motherfucker. Bitch movie. made. Yeah, you're, you're probably right. I did see, he did seem a little more aggressive. Yeah. But, um... He's selling for 20 bucks? You think I got 20 bucks when you buy a shitty city like that, you piece of shit? That's merch money, brother. I'm not spending it on you. But, anyways, uh, we're here now. That doesn't matter anymore. We're here now. Fox rental car, you failed us. Think about how good the and nice thing for in Kentucky. She heard that we were going to be late, so she canceled our security deposit on here. $50 oh, yes, a day. absolutely. You know how much money that just saved us? Yeah, that totally. Just $150. It's, if it's $50 a day? Yeah, times six. Tuesday, oh no. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Five days. It's 100 Yeah. It's $250. Holy fuck, dude. They saved us a fuck ton of money. Yeah, they saved us some money. They helped us out for Shrewsies, man. Yeah, she was like, oh, I just canceled for you guys. Sit here and be late. And they don't accept it after seven. I was like, thanks, babe. But as far as actual, like. She called me honey, too. Like, oh, bologna sugar, honey. I noticed the same thing when, when we stopped in Oklahoma. When we're in Oklahoma, you notice the same thing. People are extremely nice, right? Where did we stop in Oklahoma? Oh, when I went to go take a shit? No, no. When I went to Oklahoma with my sister and brother in law. Oh, I was like, huh? for my brother's uh From my brother's graduation, we were in Oklahoma. Yeah, uh -huh. And people were noticeably nice. Nice. Do you think California just pieces of shit? I think so, dude. There's so many of us. I don't know. Because, like, remember when I told you when we first got there? I was like, we're better than everybody from California. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe that. But. but, dude, that's how it seems so cluttered. It seems so packed. In California? In California. Oh, yeah, it is. You know? But I do tell you, though, you know the people either suck or they don't go to that arcade if I got the high score on a game. Yeah, you're totally On a right. basketball game. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, dude, because I got no form whatsoever. I was just throwing it in. That was fun, though. That was fun. I honestly go again. I would go again, but it seems like they... It didn't. There's it's because this games. this world uh, this world is like not. I'm not used to it, you know. Because I feel like there's so much more over there. 
There's like museums and shit out here. I'm not experiencing the full Kentucky. I want to go fucking put me in the back of a K-10. Let's go drifting in the fucking mud, baby. Do they do that here? Buck wild. Remember, we're at the very beginning part of the state. This is where the state begins. Oh, so we just getting started. We just getting started. Well, I'm oh. not going anywhere past this because I'll be beast tomorrow. <laughs> we got buck wild. You yeah, buck wild, baby. Hell yeah. So. I love to get buck wild. Have you ever seen that show? Uh -uh. Did you ever see the previews of that show? No. What it's, is it? It's kind of like a Jersey Shore meets Duck Dynasty. <laughs> kind of. Okay. Teen. Not teens, but. <laughs> Okay, man. College people. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. So it's um, Duck Dynasty meets Jersey Shore. Mm -hmm. Motherfuckers get crunk. They get in K-10s. And they drift in the mud. That's all they do. They just throw crazy parties and... They end up drifting. They end up doing stupid shit. Oh, yeah, dude. I saw they filled up uh, They filled up the back of a, of a truck, the flatbed, put a tarp in it, put some water, and used it as a fucking pool. That's awesome. That is awesome. And it worked great. My sister's boyfriend did that, but for beer. They, oh, yeah, that's right, huh? That's right. They were all jumping in the pool and everything. It was crazy. One of them could have cracked their head open. No one was concerned. No one had that concern on their did mind. Did you have your concern when you jumped off a stage? No, no, Think no. Did people not catch on big ass? You know what, though, dude? Those are your 200 pounds. Six foot six. Are you kidding me? You think people aren't going to be scared? You're right. <laughs> You're right. I guess it's just the epitome of a man. <laughs> A, a, a gorgeous man. I had gaslit this girl, <laughs> right? So we, we walked into this uh, this food hall in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And Jose's like, bro, I gotta, I, gotta, I gotta go to the bathroom. So we find the bathroom, and this girl's like, oh, you need, you need a coat, baby? What you call you, honey? Baby. Baby. Wow. She called me baby. Wow. Yeah, I know. First of all, I was like... First of all... Stop right there. We're like, calm down. Okay. So she goes, uh, she, Jose goes in the bathroom, and I'm waiting there for Jose. And she goes, give me a story on your friend. Is he single? And I was like, I was like, do you really think his girlfriend let him drive across country <laughs> with, with his friend, without her? And she says, oh, okay, thank you. So you, you want to tell the rest that happened after? So what sane... He was saying, what sane woman <laughs> would, let that happen. would let her boyfriend drive across country uh -huh. without her? Yeah. That's what he was telling her. Uh -huh. So then I go in the bathroom after you get out, and what happened? I come running out the restroom because <laughs> I'm done with my pee. I'm ready to eat. <laughs> and this chick's over here fucking buttering me up and shit. And I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on? She was like, are you single? And you're like, okay, no, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm taking bitch. Married. Yeah. So I basically made this girl feel like shit. Yeah, you made her feel like shit for sure. None of that happened, but I wish it happened. That would have been fucking hilarious. That was your plan. You wanted yeah. to do that. You wanted to set me up and fucking have me. Imagine how she would feel. Is your friend single? Not only did she say she's single, I said, yeah, he's taken, lady. Okay? Yeah, that's true. And she was like, of course he is. He's a gorgeous man. I was like, damn, gorgeous. You damn. Can't. She said a beautiful, gorgeous man. How often do you get... How, no, I'm not saying how often do you get that compliment. I'm saying how often do you hear a woman say that about somebody? <laughs> do you, beautiful. You really, really look at no, me and you brother. Say, you really think someone's going to say, that's a beautiful, gorgeous man. Brother. Uh, no, <laughs> just kidding. I'm just, no, no, no. But like, not even to you, to just anybody. Uh, like all the Jonas Brothers, uh, One Direction. No, Justin but what Bieber, I'm saying is that's not typically Usher. used by women when describing a man. I don't think so, at least. Have you have you seen anyone slightly attractive on Instagram that's a male and then go through their comments and you won't see? Really? Oh. What does it say? What does it say? Why don't you bend me over and fuck me? Just like... Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, no, yeah. no, but you're not you're understanding. Gorgeous man, I want you to bend me over and fuck me. Oh, really? They say that? Oh, dude, yeah. You, Beautiful and gorgeous as well? They, dude, they get real good. They get really descriptive with it. It's pretty funny. But they get explicit as well. Oh, yeah. Wow, oh, really? Oh, yeah. They're writing little novels down there, huh? Because those books... Have you ever cracked open one of those romantic novels? Mm -hmm. Have you? No, I haven't, but it seems like people really get off to them, dude. Oh. Bro, it seems like people really get off to them. Yeah? Yeah, I'm telling mostly you. Mostly females, though. See, but yeah, mostly females, but it's not... I'm not a reader guy. You know what I mean? Maybe I'll get an audio book. <laughs> no, dude. You're talking to you? No, dude, I have seen... Um... And they played with his dick. I've seen. Yeah, I suck it. I have seen videos of that though, where like, 
there was this one girl saying, it was a TikTok, she was saying she got an audiobook and she was actually turned on so much on the road, she almost crashed. Why wouldn't she just finger herself? Well, she just put it the bean, flick the bean a little bit. No, but the thing is, that's why she couldn't do it. She can't do that kind of stuff on the road because she crashes. You shouldn't fucking play that shit while you drive. Dumb bitch. You know what I'm saying? Just what kinds of accidents are you? Safety hazards. Why Safety would you hazards. do that? For one, the the worst state... Must be a great book, by the way. I don't know what that is. <laughs> yeah. Hey, no, I don't think I'd. I don't think I'd be able to do that. You'd probably jerk off like twelve times. It's day. like I feel like I'm gonna stop in the middle of like a sex scene or something. <laughs> it's like ah, oh, dude, you know, I'm just reading and reading. There's like a sex scene going on. In the and book, you're right? off to it. Is that what you're supposed to do? I no 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 no. I think it's just a book. But you start jerking off to it, and then you finish, and they're still reading. You're just like, oh, I'm disgusted right now. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, post like clarity. You're like, oh. But is, that, is that what you're supposed to do when you read no, a romantic no, book, though? No, like, no. I don't know. I bet you they do. Should we read Fifty Shades of Grey? Bitches love that thing. Maybe we can learn <laughs> you know what, too. dude? Ah, you know what? Maybe I don't. Okay, I, I might be pulling it, pulling this out of my ass. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. (laughs) (laughs) But Fifty Shades of Grey, those books, when pulled out of libraries, when checked out of libraries, have insane amounts of uh, human remains. Human remains. Calm and squirt. Yeah, yeah, tons. That's hot. Tons. Just like, on it. like you just get one, right? You, you do do a, do a cotton swab and put the petri dish, or no, the petri dish is for the for the bacteria, huh? You put it on the little slide. You look in there. Bunch of little cum. Bunch of little swimmies going every, <laughs> going everywhere. You're gonna see them, dude. That's disgusting. That's fucking crazy. Dude, if you're if you're gonna check that book out of a library, and you're gonna come on it, you keep the book. You don't. Why? Take it back. Why? That's fucking so disrespectful to the fucking pizza parlor. You think so? Oh, hell yeah. Hey, I just came on your book. You're digging it back. It's all <laughs> dripping wet still. So, <laughs> <laughs> like, and then I go and open the book, right? And I open it, and then, like, page five, eight, and nine are all stuck together. Oh, like, dude. <laughs> <laughs> What's crazy? <laughs> What's crazy is you started beating it so early in the book. <laughs> five, eight, and nine. <laughs> You just don't, you're on the table of contents and you already came. Oh my god. Fuck. Dude, you're on the table of contents, you're, you already came. Though, whoever the person I killed, whoever Fucking I got. Sickos. Fucking sickos. <laughs> Couldn't wait for the first fucking chapter. Okay, just five through nine are all stuck, just fused together. And then he returned the book because he was like, damn, I already nutted to it. You ever go back to a video after you met? And they kind of got only 20 minutes. Fuck it. Do you ever go back to it? Never. 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 That's it, never. I don't watch porn in a while. Never watched it. Never. Wow. What's that like? Never happened. I'm pure. (laughs) That's it. That's it. But I kind of imagine the book. You go to get it off the shelf, right? Uh You pick it off. You go like this. Soap books are typically shaped, right? Here you go. Yeah. At the end, you squeeze it. Dude, the cum's dried up by then. Your, does your cum just stay moist forever? I'm just imagining this dude, whoever's fucking coming in the table of contents, they got a big load. If they're coming that early, they're coming that soon, they got a big load. You think so? <laughs> that puppy squished. It's not seeping through the hardcover. Oh, so the hardcover is stopping. It's the side. It's pretty much what's happening. Um, path of least resistance down. It's just seeping into the whole book, all the pages. That's just how I see it. We never really like, got into our data models. What's what's gonna happen when we're tired? That is like, damn, but we got four more hours to go. What are we doing? What do you mean at the fest? Yeah. Are you are we gonna be standing up for every band? No, you could, dude. The place is huge. You could chill and sit down. It's gonna be exactly like, freaking uh, sound. Sign of fear minus the trees and dirt. Fire. It's gonna be exactly the same thing, and it's inside. I hope there's free water. I hope so too. I did bring my hydro, so we can share that thing. I hope so too, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I, I doubt that we'll be able to bring that kind of stuff in, but um. Yeah, yeah I have this fucking urge we'll to see. Like, go in the pit and start swinging. I'm just afraid that because when I did that for Dying Wish, I got hit. You just gotta be careful, dude. I got hit and I went down. 
Remember, you remember what I told you, plant yourself down, use your outriggers. You ever use a forklift? Yeah. Like one of those big four by four I ones? Try though. Use your outriggers. Those are my legs. Stability. My knee is the problem. So plant them. Stabilize. Stabilize. Neutr neutralize, stabilize, and... I feel like if I really hit someone in the face full swing, I can knock them out. Well, I mean, I don't think you're trying to do that. I don't think you're just going to fucking play So I feel like if I really hit someone full strength in the face, I can knock them out. Because you know that, that swing, you get that electrical force. Yeah, I think you can too. But I, I mean, I don't think you're really going for that. I think Why not? If somebody just runs into your swing... Why wouldn't I do that? Oh, okay, so you're one of those guys? That's okay. Okay, so you know like uh, Conor McGregor has that, that spin kick? Yes, yes, yes. I can when do When he touches that. the ground, do Yeah. No, but I can't. Because my plant leg is my left leg. Oh, I think it's going to get demolished in there. <laughs> well, you never know unless you try it. I, I'm too scared to try it. You never know unless you try I'm it. I'm not going to try it now because then I'm going to be hurt for the fest and I'll be limping around everywhere. It's going to suck dick. So would you rather try it? I should have tried it earlier. Brother. 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 Uh, brother. brother what? Oh, dude, I get so upset at these things. We're here, right? And then 97 Minutes drops like fire ass merch. But, oh, at our show this weekend. It's like, yeah! Oh, yeah. We won't be there. We have more important things to do. I even commented do. on it. And I was like, don't drop the fire merch when I'm in LDB. Disgusting. More important things to do. We're in Kentucky. To Kentucky. I'm going to DM them. Yeah, you should actually. I should still DM abstain about the hat. Anyways, I'm not going to ask. If they got them. Yeah, I'm like, hey, you guys got any hats left? I'm going to buy it. And I'll pay for shipping. Oh, yeah. That's sick. Should I say that? I'll pay for shipping. Ship it to KY. I'm over here for the moment. No, yeah. I need it next day aired now. Next early day a.m. Early a.m. Send it to this office. I will be here first thing in the morning. Oh, my God. They do, we have to do that at work sometimes. Like, yeah, I need it next day a.m. It'll be there at like 6 in the morning. What are the prices for those shipping rates? So much more. Insanity, right? I was looking. At the prices, because I guess our, my company gets like a huge discount since we bulk ship them like every day. I was looking at the dimensions for price and everything. <laughs> Ships expensive, bro. For totals, it was like it was like a hundred dollars to ship something like a like Coraline box size, and then we put our discount on. It was like three dollars. So I was like, damn, son, a huge discount. It's like ninety percent off. Just That's we, insane. Just because we use so much. Oh, hell yeah. So, like, imagine, like, I set this Coraline right now to home. I need it. I need it there. It probably costs more than that fucking item itself. So much more. That's insane. So what, now, what is that right there? That is... Um, capitalism. Theft. Capitalism. Yeah, that's capitalism right there. How do you feel about... Uh, who's that girl that made those, like, fuck capitalism shirts? Did you ever hear about that? No. There's this... Uh, Never heard about that actually. I'm sure tons of people make them. ALC, ALC, you know who that is, right? Yes, I do. So she made these shirts about capitalism. She thinks capitalism is wrong. Okay. She sold eight hundred thousand shirts, and however much she made profit, capitalism. That's capitalism. Really, that's capitalism, right? That dumb bitch. So what if she were to even out? Is that capitalism? What do you mean? Like she were just the money she spent to make the shirts. If she just made that in return and evened out. Really? Is that capitalism? Yes. Really? Because that's still giving money to somebody who made the shirts. So that person who got the shirts for you made okay. money. I, that's what I'm saying. What if she evens out? Just doesn't make any money. Well, technically, the person that she got the shirts from made money. So somebody made money. Oh, okay. I understand. Somebody spent and made money. Even though she didn't make money, she's still doing capitalism. I understand. She's still... Uh, uh, like a dumb bitch. The yeah. best thing to do is to not sell it and just say it. That's... And then, also, you're in America. You don't want to support capitalism. Don't buy gas. Don't go to Target. I know the bitch goes to Target. You can just tell by the way she talks. But that's like everything. Everything in America is capitalism, dumb bitch. Everything. Move out of my country. Get the fuck out of here. And so, how does she feel about touring bands selling merch, huh? How does she feel about that's that? That's capitalism. Is that? Sorry, gotta support the boys. Seems like this. She wants... Socialism. Now, name any socialist company, country that is working right now, not company, country. I, honestly, I don't know. You ever heard of El Salvador? I have. I've heard of them. You know how shitty it is? I heard they got pretty good food, though. That's what I heard. They have no food. I heard, I heard they make some pretty good pupusas. Yeah, but that's because they come over here. They're a very, very poor country right now, right? And we tried to send them food, and they wouldn't accept it. So the people are dying of hunger, and they wouldn't accept our food. Why wouldn't they take it? The government's corrupt. They want people to, like, submit, you know? Ah, so they're dumb. It's socialism. So, like, they, the government just wants to be in charge and have all the money. 
Yeah, they're a dog. They're a dog top. Pin them to the flow. Pin them to the flow, <laughs> baby. Fuck my cousin, dog. He's saying fuck my country, dog. Hey, what are how many hubs out here? Because I know there's a lot of hubs out this way. Really? You want to find a hub mobile? You want to track one down? You got the VIN number? I, I did see one in Rancho one time. I took a picture of it. Hub mobile, huh? Yeah, uh-huh. Really? Yes, sir. Pixar didn't have it. I have Pixar. I'll, <laughs> I'm just hey, kidding. I believe right here, you. baby. I believe you. Right hand of God. We left him. It's right here, baby. <laughs> um, With the regime, Justin for all. I wish someone gave me some better food wrecks, just honestly. Better food wrecks? We have some pretty good wrecks. I think we're going to some pretty good places. I've had a great time so far. I've had a great time. Food has been hey, amazing. Hey, shout out to Axby, bro. Y'all know what? Y'all know what's going down. You gotta get them chicken fingers up a little bit. The the girth. I'm a big girth guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. For I'm sure. A big girth guy. You know, gotta overall, make them a little longer too. Overall, I thought it was better. Totally. Than Cane's. Switch the Cane's sauce. So like, get this actually go right. Sub for cane toast and cane sauce. That's and it. Chilling. Yep. That's the best meal right there. Just swap the toast and the sauce. Yep. And that is the best. And honestly, yeah. that cane is so close. It's actually we can do that. It's crazy too. Why are they like they got their competition next door? Who was made first? One of these fuckers made. Who's made first? I feel like they're more OG. I don't know why. <laughs> hmm. Who you knows? Get the vibe? I get the vibe. But they're loyal to their side. You see, Kane's went worldwide. Fuck that shit. They stayed here. They did stay here. They stayed local but on, the mid, on the Midwest. Do you think that's something some company should do? No. Like in and out for example? Well, honestly, yeah, they should. How 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 well do you think that can control quality? quality? Very good. For example, with them just staying in the West Coast or in like the tri-state area type, you know? It's literally just like one or two in Las Vegas, one or two in Arizona, yeah. and then like one in Tejas. Te yeah. And then, uh, well, you know, the union, your union hall's right next to it. But you think if they went, if they yeah. went it's crazy. They're sourcing it all from one place. So everything's like quality check, basically. Mm -hmm. So they can't control it like super well. If it's in other states, they can't control it so well. And they, it, it just, it's just not happening. So do you think that they wouldn't be able to find a way to control it? Really? Yeah. You know those internet parties they have? Have you seen those? No, I have. Uh, yeah, I have actually. Them? Dude, they look like they're going to Coachella or something yeah, like that. Yeah. It's crazy. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, that's amazing. They bring the whole family. Those are for their employees, huh? Yeah. That's awesome. From every in and out. That's sick. That's badass. Uh, the, the owner was in Laverne. Really? Yeah. The daughter of one of the guys. Who started? I never knew who started it. Now, two friends. So think. many years I've been eating it. I never wondered. I never thought about it. Who? We need, we need to find. For one, we need to try White Castle. Who's the mastermind behind it now? It's like two friends or two brothers, something like that. I see. And one of the daughters has taken over now. Are they dead? Or are they just? Oh, I think they're dead. I think they're dead. IP. IP. Goats. Goats. Goated. In and out's good. In and out says good. In and out shit. Fuck you. We gotta try Whataburger. We gotta try Whataburger. You think so? Because we everyone, try that on the way back everyone, as well. Everyone in fucking PJ has says that shit. Yeah. Oh, Whataburger's better. Yeah. Whataburger's not the same as In and Out. In and Out only sells three things. Yeah, that's right. Whataburger sells forty five. I feel like Whataburger. The more shit you sell, the cheaper you are, bitch. And the quality declines. I mean, you've been noticing that. I've been a little angry lately. Yeah, you've been a lot more like um, aggressive. Yeah. <laughs> You've been, <laughs> yeah, you've been real like aggressive with it, not like towards me or anything like that, but with like I got on TRT. Little things and other. Oh you know, yeah, your test, your I, test is I up. A, I got your on test TRT. is up. Yeah, you're, I was gonna get tested. You feeling the road rage? Yeah. You're a little low, huh? Yeah, I was a low T boy. Wow, feeling like easy? What? <laughs> That's from AIDS. That's huh? different. He was on. He, he was low T. He had a low T count. <laughs> no. That was very unfortunate, but I'm just kidding. I have no idea. I told you. We I, should go do that, though. Yeah, That's a great idea. I did, I did say that. I said we should go get it tested for our tea. And and guess what? For low tea, they, pre they prescribe this. They stuff. provide tea. How do you feel? You feel low? No. You feel high? I wake up fine. I'm horny as fuck. So pretty neutral? No. I'm, feel normal. I'm so horny all the time that I have extra tea. Oh, great. I, I'm a supplier for the fucking, for the gym rats. Oh, you're oozing tea. I wish. I wish I was. I wouldn't be so fucking fat. Nah, I feel like I'm a low tea boy. I feel like it's more common now, and that sucks. Low T boy. Yeah. Why do you think that is? They've done tests, and they've proven that men are being born with less testosterone. Because of what was that saying you said with that was on Joe Rogan? The heart, the hard times. Okay, yeah, and because of that. That's what that's happening right now. We're we're in that. We're in the easy times right now. Really. We we will be in hard times soon, and then they'll be fucking men again because we need them. Because mm. you know the human body evolves, so it's like, hey, 
there's not really any hardworking people anymore. They're just getting by. So, you know, we're gonna start losing with less. less so, tests. so when they when, more efficient. Okay, understood. Understood. You know how evolution works and shit. But when they, yeah, totally. But when they say those hard times or the hard men, right? What, what does that entail? What do you got to do to get that title? Brother, you know, World, World, World War Two, fucking uh, War of Korea, Vietnam, Gulf War. So you're thinking we got to go to war? You're almost at war, but like, look at the line of the military, bunch of bitches. Bro, said like seventy percent of the military is overweight. That's a little scary. See, we've talked about this before. Uh, overweight doesn't necessarily mean they're fat as fuck. We have talked about yeah, this before. I, agree. I, agree. I will totally die on that hill. I yes, I will die on that hill. I would, I will put my life in the hands of these quote unquote overweight. Okay, so soldiers. Is there anyone looking like me? With your brother? What do you think? Mm, not like you. I mean, I'm pretty athletic though for my build. Yeah, you know you are though. That's the thing. There's some husk. I've seen some husky guys. Some husky guys, some bear, yeah, some bear esque guys. You know what? Uh, well, you do know that Action Bronson was on Lloyd's. I didn't know I that. Oh yes, pictures. I do. That's I want right. to see those pictures. I wonder how fucking because he's a short guy. He's got a. And he said he was going to the gym like crazy at the time. Uh-huh. He was on fucking Lloyd's. I want to see that. Yeah, for real. I'd like to see that too. Uh-huh. That'd be awesome. He's a, he's an inspiration. He's he's a cool guy. It's not that he's an inspiration. I just like his content. He is a cool guy. He's a cool guy. No, but he is very motivational too. He's motivational, but I just I like his style, I like everything. He's, he's just so nice to people, just so gen like genuinely nice, generally. He, he's genuinely, so genuinely, genuinely New York. That's like people being assholes, you know, like from the Bronx. Like, look at looking at. No, it's Bronx. his vibe though. Yeah, I guess. You know what I'm saying? But where is he from? New Jersey? No, he's he's from New York. He's right? from New York. Yeah. He's Jewish. He's a little Jewish boy. Oh, is he Jewish? Yeah, that's why they call him Bam Bam Bakuba. That's Jewish. I don't know. I really don't. Or they know. call him Bam Bam Balaklava. But I know he's got like Algerian, he's got all oh, types yeah. of different nationalities within his blood and shit. That's awesome. He still thinks that his grandma has a guest tricky. He's like, put this down. Probably does, dude. dude you, that dude's a chef himself. Yeah, he was. That's awesome. It's crazy. He huh? just does everything. Crazy that his music career just took off one day and then it was just like, hey, I'm famous now. Flipping something like dick. And coming back here, bitch. So now it seems like he's starting to get into the fitness phase of his career. Yeah. Not a phase, I'm sorry. It seems like to be a type of lifestyle now. Yeah. yeah. So do you think he'll ever transition into the cooking point of his and take that into a career? He's at the, have you ever seen his first, uh, like, he has his YouTube show where all he does right, is Right, right. But and just, he cooks on there too. But just make that a thing to where that's like all he does full time? It is kind of like a, he posts one every week. He still does that? Yeah. Oh, really? Okay. So they just finished their the most recent season. His a Paris story. It was pretty good. Fire. He ate donkey. And donkey. he shared donkey. Would you eat that? Yeah. How he made it sound, that was fire. But I'm sure it's because those people are professionals and they know where to go with the mm-hmm. donkey. And there's this family and the daughter, they're from America. They, they recognize him. Oh, come here, come here with us. And since he had all the best shit, he shared all the best shit with them. Just because just cause they knew him. What about puffer fish? Would you eat puffer fish? If they make it right. There's this, it's one specific part that you can eat, right? But how can you what realistically know? How can you realistically know that that person cut within the line? How do you know that you can eat that piece? Are you just going to take that risk take and say, risk. fuck it, take I'm eating risk. it? Yeah. I'm going to put $80 down to eat this shit. Yeah. And I don't know if I'm going to die or not. Yeah, I do. Is that a fit? That is that a fifty? I feel chance? like the margin for error is pretty big if if people are still eating it. You know, like hey, it looks like this. Just don't eat this part. I imagine it to be like a a perforation. Bloop 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 bloop. If you leave any little tidbits of paper you're on dead. the perforations, you're dead. You're dead. Yeah. I guess we can look it up. That's how I see it. I pers- personally would never try it, but um. We always talk about stuff, and I say we can look it up and like research it after the pod, and I never do. We never do it, you know. But it's kind of like those those screenshots, or like those pictures that we would take in school of the board, thinking you're gonna use it later. No, nope, never. It never got used. Those just built up in my camera roll and just t- took up space. Those all those fucking promotional emails. What takes up space? One day I took up about two hours of time and deleted every email that I have. I don't know how to do that. 
there's a little thing that says delete all, but it would only select 200 at a time. And I've had this email for fucking ever. How many emails did you there? I was like, you know, it was like delete like 400,000 emails. It took fucking forever. But don't you think within there there's any like important ones that you might want to save or like? These no. All from like 10, 12 years ago. Oh, like, uh, yeah. Don't totally. have any important ones. And if, it, if they already put a star on it. If they were that important, you would have already started. I guess you're right. I guess you're right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're totally right. I got, I got that, I got the LDB ticket started. Not gonna lie, but I wouldn't delete those. Not yet. Not yet, at least. But yeah, I don't know, dude. Fatality's cool, bro. I'm, like, I'm extremely excited. Looking forward to it so much. I'm ready for this. I'm ready to shoot. You ready to go? I'm absolutely ready to go too. We plan on going to a nice Kentucky dinner tonight. First date, baby. Was that a song? No, that's a show. I love that show. Who is it? First date with Lauren Compton. Why made show? Oh, uh, okay. Is that the one that? Yeah, she's blonde. It's awesome. Yeah. Okay. You ready? I am absolutely ready. We didn't. We didn't even give an intro, but we will give an outro. Outro. Um, LDB people, follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Big Deal with two G's and uh, fuck. LDB people, follow us at Daddy's Under Pod. On all platforms. And email us at daddy's under pod at gmail.com. Any injuries you had, I want to hear about them from LDB Fest or hardcore shows in general. Any injuries in the pit, I want them. I want them. Hit us up. Let's see the merch. I mer- want the story. Let's see the merch you bought. Oh, hell yes. Yeah, Let's see all the merch you bought. Hit us with your merch drops. We want to see the product. Yeah, we want to see you from North Carolina. Give me some fucking sick local bands that you like. Let me see that merch. I want to see fucking merch we'll never see, you know? What I'm merch saying? spreads, yes. Yeah. I want to awesome. see them. Let's see merch spreads. We should do our own merch spreads. Like, put it out on our bed. And it's like, hey, this is all the merch I got. Picked it up. I'll put it on the floor or something, all the merch I got. You probably have 10 times more merch than I do. People do that, though. Yeah, I know. It'd be dope. Yeah, that would be sick. I gotta write that down. But this is episode 103. 103. Next week, guys. And for episode 104. Yeah. Marks two years, huh? Marks two years. We're going to post our top 10 favorite reels of the year. So get ready. Mark's two years. That's crazy. Yeah. No, we're still here. You can go ahead and follow me on Instagram and Twitter, Sick Puppy with two E's. On Instagram and Twitter. That is at gmail.com. And that's it. That's it. Man, peace.